Well, good morning. Hi. And it's here again with my Inktober 2021 tangles. And now that I have gone public like this and so far away with this, I think that I will have to finish it. I'm quite determined to do it. And I thank you for all your comments and cheering me along the way. And maybe while I am looking at this piece that I have created so far, it's time to just take a moment and appreciate it. It's the first step of the Zen Tangle method and it's nice to go back to it and just feel this gratitude and feel the uh, beauty of being in this moment and taking the time to do what we like and what we love. <laughs> so, um, day 15, almost, almost the middle of the challenge, I will put these away and I think that I might need this one just to maybe draw a kind of an extension of these dude um, lines along and maybe connect it to this style but I will see about it later and today um, the topic of, of today is Zentangle Stangle Ing and it's one that I'm not really uh, friendly with <laughs> so we will see how that goes um, I think I will just try to fill this space uh, on the bottom below the C knots with it and you know, I'll just dive right into it without overthinking, which is the best way to do it. So I will start with this zigzag line and you can see that I'm not drawing it. Hmm. It's far from perfect, <laughs> let's put it like that, but I do like it. Anyway, I'm connecting these peaks with somewhere around the middle of this line. And then I'll do the same, but I will first rotate the tile so it's easier. And then one more rotation and I'll do this and one more rotation and because I have made it so kind of flat maybe I should have extended these lines all the way to C knots just to use this space but now I did it already maybe I can just just add another one oh I realized that I have forgot to forgotten to lock the screen so I'm sorry if the picture was maybe a little bit blurry let's just do another one and see what happens I'm not sure that this experiment will go right and again I need to fill this space with something anyway so why not use again ink tangle And this is exactly what I would do if I was tangling alone, you know. Without too much overthinking, just try to do what seems right at that time. And now another line, I'm always kind of confused about where to 
added. But if you do it like this with rotation and just basically repeat the same thing, it's maybe easier. Okay, I have these two ink tangles here and hmm, they are quite, I don't know, I don't know what to, I will, <laughs> I will not jump into conclusions about it. Um, let me just first deal with these small triangles that I placed last so that I can even notice where one begins and the other one ends. You can fill these spaces with whatever you want. So it can be maybe another tangle, like typo or maybe print thumb or something. It can be aura lines. And then if you play with highlights and shadows, I am kind of confused about I think this is it. I think I got it right until now, but even if I haven't, you know, I would just find a way to to make something of it. And now I will take my jelly roll for some line work. It's not something I do often, but I would maybe like to try and see what this will look like. <laughs> and that's exactly what being playful is and being fearful, fearless, <laughs> fearless about Zentangle. And then, if you practice it well enough, this harmless activity of drawing, it might translate into other spheres of your life. How about that? Well, you can say, and yes, it's easier said than done, but... I have to tell you, when I started tangling, I had no idea that something like drawing might translate and into my life as much as it did. And of course, maybe it had most repercussions to my business life because I did transition from corporate um, career to creative career, which was just a huge change and a huge risk. So you can see that I started adding some crescent moon shapes. But it, it was really, Zentangle had a, as a method and the way that I have practiced being fearless, it had quite a big impact because I have never thought about myself as an entrepreneur. I knew I was a very good worker, let's say, and I think I did 
quite good at the positions I took in my corporate career and I had quite a successful career. But I did become fearless and I started eventually to to think about myself as somebody who could pursue their own business without too many expectations, just take it one day at a time. Same thing that I do when I tangle, just take it one stroke at a time. And I decided to give myself a chance to try and make this change. I thought, what's the worst thing that can happen? The worst thing maybe in a year or two or however, or whatever it is, I can always, at least I hope that I can come back to finance. But so far, I haven't thought about going back to finance because even though it's not all about the money, it's just about this freedom to do what you like. Um, this poem is not actually an extension of, of Ing, because it should have gone like this. But, so I'm thinking about what to do now and I don't want it to be something totally different. So I will just do this and I have to think about what about... <laughs> Let me just grab... I'm sorry about kicking my camera now. I'm trying to find the tile that goes right here. No, oh, it might be this one. Yes. I don't think that I will do anything on the right side. Later, it's, it's funny how this kind of this line is just it looks very good with this triangle so maybe that one i might use for something but i will decide about it later i will try to do something with the shading now and introduce some shades uh, along some of these lines to try to enhance um, the appearance maybe of, of a folded paper or, or something along those lines. So I want it to look like some kind of an origami But let's see if I will succeed. <laughs> and then I also have these small spaces between the two inks to fill. I might do it just by adding the the lines like here. I will add some shades below. I think I will do it below each of them. So normally my style of tangling is bold and big. And this ink, I don't know, it's surprisingly small. And when you do things bold, boldly, then it seems to me that, you know, there's more space to use
use shades, highlights, and colors efficiently. Because the whole canvas is so small, I mean, these small zentangled tiles, which is wonderful because it allows you to start and finish a drawing quite quickly. Because I think that we all feel that there is lack of time. If we lack anything, it's, you know, time passes by so quickly. But it's such a small format. And then if you tangle small on the tiles, you might end up with having not enough space for shades and highlights. This ink is really small for my standards. I keep forgetting about some of these shades and highlights. It's interesting how I keep skipping some of these triangles. It just crossed my mind that it would be very interesting also to try ink combined with Fragments, when I say fragments, I'm aiming at Zentangle's reticula and fragments concept. So for those of you who are familiar, I believe it's an interesting idea. And now let me just maybe see, this is not so sharp. Well, this is the sound of my sharpener, but it's not really easy to do it when the pens are so small. And I do have my small red sharpeners by General, which are really, really good. But this one produces pointier or longer pencil tip, so this is why I use it. Maybe just some highlight, really delicate in this top mid section. And of course I have discovered now and I forgot one, my, one more shade. I'm trying to be kind of precise about it because, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. If you have these small triangles, it's kind of difficult to place shades and highlights in them. And now with my 15th day being on the seven, uh, on the fifth tile, I think I might maybe fit 31 days in nine tiles, which would be wonderful to have this opus sized artwork this October. I will take the washi tape again and just connect these two. Mm. To decide what to do next to finish this. Well, this triangle, as I said, it looks quite cool. So I think I will just do the same thing that I did. Although it's not the way that I would extend my ink, I will still do it. And then I can also add shades here. 
here the way I did on the upper three tiles so to be consistent with it and I need my shades here as well to be consistent with the way that I have started shading ink I will have to try to do a monotangle ink with fragments. Now I really think that it was a quite a good idea. I'm trying to find another pen that I have used for these delicate lines. And it's really nice to film these detailed um, videos with with tiles being the focus part because <laughs> let me tell you my workspace is not tidy at all and in all these supplies sometimes when you are looking for something like now i was looking for this pen I don't know where it is and I think that you can see how with the PN even though I'm really not pressing at all the lines are not as delicate as they are but I just want to get things finished with the tile on the left on the right which I did now, and I don't think that you need instructions for filling the spaces with these lines anyway. I don't know what to say about this ink. Mm, it's not one of my type of tangles which are usually those with rounded uh, lines and so on but well it looks quite nice this one is organic and very round and then this is just the opposite it's a nice contrast so with that I will say thank you for being here once again and join me tomorrow and I am sorry because sun is you know shining um, like it is and then hiding behind the clouds and sometimes it's not the best thing for the lightning of these videos but since I am trying to keep it simple without everything I would do with the lighting maybe normally when I do my video classes it is it is what it is and i hope that when i zoom in everything will be visible thank you thank you guys see you tomorrow bye